Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show off one of my new kits. Uh, this is another one of my favorites. Uh, it is a stepper motor driver. Uh, it's very easy to use. Once you put it together or if, you bought, if you've purchased it assembled, you just have to power it on. You've got a few options here. Uh, using this little onboard jumper might be difficult for you to see. You can put it into latching mode or non-latching mode. Uh, let's start with latching mode. So you power it on. 9 volts. And there's a forward button and a backward button. If I press forward, the motor will continually move forward until I either press forward again or if I, I'm going to press forward one more time or if I press backwards. Now if you press the same button twice it starts it and stops it. So backwards I pressed it once, I'll press it again, it stops it. I'm going to press forward once. It'll continually move until I press forward again. Now if I press forward then backward, it'll then forward again and backward again, so you have that option. As well, you can interface this with your microcontroller. I've got a 5 volt output, a ground, and a, a forward pin, and a backward pin. Now, if you send, it, if you're in latching mode, you send a pulse using your Arduino to the forward pin, it will essentially just take over for the buttons. So, if I put a, uh, a, say, a, a pulse on back, like a 5 volt pulse on the backward pin right now, it would stop it. Now, if I put a 5 volt, volt pulse on forward, it would essentially do the exact same thing as the button's doing. If I send another pulse to backward, it would move backwards. If I send another pulse to backwards, it would stop it. Very, very easy to use. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you non-latching mode. I'm going to change the jumper configuration, and uh, we'll go from there. Now, you can't change it on the fly. You need to uh, do it on power-up. So now I'm in, in non-latching mode, which means... Uh, if I press forward, you might not be able to see this. Keep, keep a close eye on this. I'm going to keep pressing forward. I'm stepping it forward. Each time I press the button, I can hold it. doesn't matter. I have to pulse it. Every time I pulse it, I step the uh, motor forward. And, and if I press backwards, I can step it backwards. Now, if I send pulses on the forward and backward lines using my microcontroller, I can do the exact same thing, simulating the buttons. So, very easy to use. Uh, the stepper motor driver board sits right on the main PCB. I've got my logic controller chip, two buttons, a couple capacitors, and a 5 volt regulator. And of course a jumper. Very easy to put together. I'll be doing an assembly video, but I wanted to show it off before I make these you know, boring assembly videos. I know that most of you who won't be purchasing this kit don't want to waste time watching a, an assembly video, a step by step assembly video. So I wanted to show it off. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you all have a happy holiday. Take care.